Hey Joe here and welcome to the fourth session in the second series of 5 minute guides in the RK Archimate Modeling Toolkit. This session covers the technology layer architecture. In my use of modeling, the technology layer, I find the most common connection I use to the application component is the node. The node can be used to represent a resource that hosts or interacts with other resources such as a server farm, application database, or file servers. The system software can be used to note how a node server is managed, for example, Windows or Linux operating system. The node can then relate to a particular technology service, such as messaging services, backup and archiving, or communication services, or even infrastructure service as a platform. And will likely have devices connecting to the node such as a physical server, monitor, CCTV camera, or a barcode scanner. The node can connect to a network such as a WAN, LAN, or VPC, and the path could illustrate how the connection to the network is enabled, representing the communication link either through its name or its type. The node can have a particular technology function, such as auditing or system monitoring, which in turn can produce a number of artefacts, such as audit trails or system logs. And of course, all are interconnected. In the previous session, we had an application viewpoint with a high-level concept of the supporting ERP servers. The technology layer and model can now drill down to a detailed view of the technology layer and a high-level reference back to the application layer. The overarching intent of Archimate is to present a visual language. By nesting objects, we can illustrate complex relationships visually, without having to present the underlying relationships to the reader. In this example, we have the ERP servers with four nested components, database server node, application server node, VPN path and corporate WAN. The VPN and WAN are not strictly nesting relationships, However, there are times where we may want a certain aesthetic for a presentation. If we flip over to Archie for a moment, we can see from the visualizer and navigation windows that the nested objects contain the relevant links. The ERP servers are composition of other servers, with the non-nested relationships of VPN assigned to the server and the server farm serving the ERP servers. The database server is also composed of servers with primary and secondary servers and the VPN flowing to the database server. We haven't lost any of the previous relationships in our model as we can see from the navigator, including our previous relationships to the ERP system application component that we created in the previous session. The node can be composed of several other nodes and serves the application component. The system software serves a node. The technology service, in this example, the server resilience, serves the parent application server. The device noted here is a virtual physical server hardware that serves the ERP servers. The technology function here is a database administration for the entire ERP database server. The ERP server is sitting on-premise connected to the corporate WAN. And we've used the VPN, Virtual Private Network, as an example of the path element. While Archimate has rules, and the Architool will impose these rules, how you choose to use them will depend on what you're trying to model and who the target audience might be. This session has shown one example, but it's not an absolute. Well, thanks for your time. That concludes our session of the Technology Layer. We've learned we can use Archimate notation to build out a technology architecture model relating to an application component. By using a model tool such as Archie, we can build on previously defined relationships and present complex relationships in a visual form. I hope you got some value out of this and it's helped you fast track your understanding of Archie and the Archimate framework.